Aitzim, meaning trees. In Hebrew, formerly Green Zionist Alliance (GZA) is a New York-based Jewish environmental organization that is a U.S. registered 501c3 tax-deductible nonprofit charity. A grassroots all-volunteer organization, Aitzim is active in the United States, Canada, and Israel. The organization is a member of the American Zionist movement, and has worked in partnership with Aminu, the Coalition on the Environment and Jewish Life COEJL, Hazen, Interfaith Moral Action on Climate, Interfaith Oceans, the Jewish National Fund, Greenfaith, Merkaz, Masorda, Conservative Judaism, and the National Religious Coalition on Creation Care. Azim's work at the nexus of Judaism, environmentalism and Zionism has courted controversy from both Jewish and non-Jewish groups. See below section on criticism. Topic: <laughs> Projects. Azim has 4 projects. Green Zionist Alliance, the grassroots campaign for a sustainable Israel the organization's former name is now used as a project name, the Green Zionist Alliance works on issues related to the environment of Israel and the Middle East. Jukology, home of the Jewish environmental movement Jukology.org is an online resource for information on Jewish environmentalism, and includes resources such as a job board and an interactive map of Jewish environmental initiatives. Shamray Brachet, Rabbis and Cantors for the Earthen Environmental Advocacy Group that Aitzim runs in partnership with Green Faith. Shamray Brachet includes more than 100 Jewish clergy, including chief rabbis. EcoJews of the BiEcoJews holds Jewish environmental events in the San Francisco Bay Area. Aitzim also runs an internship program, hosts an English-language compilation of educational materials, research papers, academic papers, news articles, videos and books about Israel's environment, and has student chapters, including Yovel, Aitzim at NYU. Criticism. <coughs> 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 Aitzim has been criticized, predominantly by the conservative Hudson Institute historian Arthur Herman for its stance against hydrofracking, with Herman labeling the GZA in the New York Post as, "...running against the tide of technology." The organization also has been criticized for its support of environmentalism and Tikkun Olam. Others have been critical of Azim's stance against BDS, for greenwashing Israel, for participating in the People's Climate March, for associating with Israel and Zionism, for working with Jewish National Fund, and for its participation in a process that largely favors Israel's political status quo. Politically centrist individuals have criticized the GZA for its promotion of community gardens, charging that making community gardens more widely available is patronizing to the public. Others see Zionism's mission as finished with the establishment of the modern state of Israel and they question the relevance of the entire system of legacy Zionist organizations formed by the World Zionist Organization and its constituent agencies. History 
The Green Zionist Alliance GZA was founded in 2001 by Alain Tall, Eileen Schwartz and Rabbi Michael Cohen, with a large team of other volunteers, including Adam Werbach, Devra Davis and current Aitzim leadership. In 2002 it became the first environmental party at the World Zionist Congress, where it has had elected representation since. Through this process, the organization succeeded in the appointment of environmental leaders, including Tal and Schwartz, to the board of the Karen Kayemet Le Yisrael KKL, Jewish National Fund in Israel. For more than a dozen years, Aitzim representation has included Tall and Or Karasin. In 2006, the GZA incorporated as a 501c3 nonprofit. In late September 2014, the GZA acquired Jukology.org from fellow Jewish environmental group Kanfei Nesherim and, in partnership with Green Faith, launched a Jewish clerical environmental advocacy group called Shamrei Breshit, Rabbis and Cantors for the Earth. To better reflect the scope of the organization's work, the GZA rebranded itself as Aitzim, keeping the Green Zionist Alliance name both legally and for its Israel focused work. Aitzim has had many prominent Jewish leaders serve on its Green Zionist Alliance slates for the World Zionist Congress, including Rabbi Ellen Bernstein, Morel Goldsmith, Susanna Heschel, Nigel Savage. Rabbi Fred Sherlinder Dobb, Richard H. Schwartz, Rabbi Mark Soloway, Rabbi Lawrence Troster, Rabbi Arthur Vosco, and Lori Zolath. The Aitzim Advisory Board includes former Jerusalem Deputy Mayor Naomi Tsur and Daniel Orenstein, a faculty member at the Technion Israel Institute of Technology and the Arava Institute for Environmental Studies. Topic Accomplishments Since its founding as the Green Zionist Alliance, Aitzim has been a key factor in the greening of Israeli policy, both internally and in its interactions with other countries. Aitzim's accomplishments include Quadrupling funding for afforestation Building new bicycle lanes in Israel Developing an environmental program for villagers in Rwanda Saving the unique ecosystem of the Samar sand dunes in the Arava Valley from destruction A successful effort to stop hydrofracking of oil shale in Israel's Ela Valley and to ban all fossil fuel extraction on land owned by Jewish National Fund in Israel. A successful effort to increase the public share of profits from Israel's offshore natural gas fields. The installation of rooftop energy generating solar panels and indoor energy efficient lighting. The planned transition of vehicles in the fleets of quasi-governmental organizations, such as Jewish National Fund, to high fuel efficiency and alternative fuel models. The development of seven-year environmental plans, inspired by the Shemitah sabbatical cycle, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in Israel. The inclusion of environmental education for new immigrants to Israel. The development of community gardens at immigrant housing centers. Increased support for in-country carbon mitigating projects. Increased support for local organic agriculture. Activist and educational campaigns 
Aitzim has been engaged in many campaigns to both protect and educate about the environment, including Publication of the Jewish Energy Guide, a 50-article resource on energy issues from a Jewish perspective produced in partnership with the Coalition on the Environment and Jewish Life Development of an Ethic of the Seas in partnership with the National Religious Coalition on Creation Care Filing an amicus brief with the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit in the Our Children's Trust case. Support for the Green New Deal. Support for a cross-country Jewish environmental education campaign. Support for finalization of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Carbon Pollution Standard for new power plants Support for inclusion of greenhouse gases in consideration of the Endangered Species Act An effort to support Israel's forests in the wake of the worst forest fire in the country's history an effort to develop an interconnected network of individuals, organizations and communities working to create a healthier and more sustainable world rooted in the values of the Shemitah cycle. An unsuccessful effort to prevent further demolition of the Bedouin village of al arakib in Israel's Negev region. Opposing Israel's proposed nation state bill partnering with 160 other groups, including primary organizers the Sierra Club, 350. Org and the Hip Hop Caucus, on the Forward on Climate initiative, partnering with musician Natalie Merchant, actor Mark Ruffalo and more than 200 other groups, including Movion, Friends of the Earth and the Indigenous Environmental Network, in the Food and Water Watch organized New Yorkers Against Fracking Coalition, partnering with hundreds of other groups on the People's Climate March in both 2014 New York and 2017 Washington, partnering with hundreds of other groups on the March for a Clean Energy Revolution, partnering with a dozen other faith-based environmental organizations, including Franciscan Action Network and Green Faith, on the Sacred Earth Project, partnering with 14 other Jewish organizations, including Hazen, COEJL and the Religious Action Center, in founding the Green Hevra, a network of Jewish environmental organizations, endorsing a Jewish community-wide transition from fossil fuels to clean, renewable energy, supporting efforts to combat antisemitism, and an unsuccessful effort to green the General Assembly of the Jewish Federations of North America. <laughs> 